find here that God has always had overcomers. He's had overcomers in every age. There's always, every time in every age that there's been on the earth, God has always had somebody he could put his hands on as a witness in the earth. He's never been without a witness. Though sometimes just one. But somebody overcome. Now, like the saints of old, and uh, a very fine man, a scholar, was saying after the seven seals, he said, uh, Brother Branham, you being a, a typist, typologist, rather, said, how in the world are you going to put that church in the rapture without the tribulation period? In a type. He said, you see, if it's a type, there's got to be, uh, there's got, if it's an antitype, there's got to be a type for that antitype to come from. And everything I say that is true has a type. It has a type. You have a shadow. And the Bible said the old things was a shadow of the new things to come. He said, but now you took the Old Testament as a shadow. Now, he said, what are you going to do with this church? This man comes from a, a great uh, a man, a great teacher. That's a bosom friend of mine. Very good man. And he's a lovely brother. And I, I'd be garrison to say one word against the brother. I wouldn't anyhow, as, as, a, as a Christian, I wouldn't say nothing against him. He's, he, he don't agree with me on that one subject. But he, he's my precious brother. We eat together. And, oh, he's just a damn new fellow. I take his magazine, read his articles, and he writes some of mine and so forth. And I've took him many texts out of what I, I've read, uh, read of his articles. Hear him say He's a great man, but he, he just can't agree with me. I appreciate that. Uh, if his sincerity, though he don't just want these pushover, he just has to agree with everything you say. He's got his own conviction, and he stands for it. I appreciate that. And he's a good man. Of, oh, I, I am not a teacher or scholar at all, but this man's both teacher and scholar. But I, I can't agree with him because I don't see it. But the, it, it doesn't pertain to salvation. Is pertaining to the coming of the Lord. He sees that the church has to go through the tribulation period for purification. I say the blood of Jesus Christ purifies the church. Amen. Indeed, so I believe that the church goes through the tribulation period, church organization, That's right. but the bride does not. Amen. Would you choose the woman you had to purify before you married her? Amen. Christ's bride is chosen, Amen. and she is elected, Amen. and she's God's bride, the bride of Jesus Christ. And now he said, how are you going to type that? If that bride goes forth, goes up before she goes through the tribulation period, so i got scripture that shows you that the church is in the tribulation period. I said, just read the sixth seal. That's all. She's right there <laughs> under the tribulation period. But find out just before that, Amen. the bride's undone. Amen. She's in glory at that time. She has no purification. See? He that believeth on me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation or the judgment, Amen. but pass from death unto life. Amen. Christ gave the promise that we would not even stand at the judgment. So freely did he take my place until I'm absolutely free. Amen. When I'm pardoned, I'm pardoned. Amen. How can he take me out of the pawn shop and got a clear receipt of how can he be my redeemer and take me from the pawn shop and the broker still say I belong to him? <laughs> now I got a written receipt. Amen. 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 See? Wrote by the blood of Jesus Christ. See? Now, in that, here's where we come. He said, now, how are you going to get, separate that elected bride you talk about? Now, how are you going to put that under a type? I said, very good. I said, here it is. Now, in Matthew, the 27th chapter and the 51st verse, if we, let me just read it, and then we, we got it good. 
Then we find out whether it was typed or not, whether it was the elected bride. Matthew, the 27th chapter, and the, and the 51st verse. All right. We read this. At the crucifixion of our Lord, and behold, the veil of the temple was written twain from the top to the bottom. Now that was the law. The law ended right there because the veil kept the congregation from the holy articles of God. Only an anointed priest went in there, and that once a year. Remember? Now, God with his own hand, notice, from the top to the bottom. Not from the bottom to the top, there's some 40 feet high. Notice, not from the bottom to the top, but from the top to the bottom showed it was done by God. Rent the veil in two, then the anyone, whosoever will, may come and partake of his holiness. All right. From top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection, went into the holy city, and appeared to many. Amen. Amen. There's that elected, that bride. Not all of the Jewish church come forth at that time. All of them made the same sacrifice. All of them was under the shed blood of the Lamb. But there was an elected group. And that elected group, as soon as the event come, that really believed that it was sincere. 30. Now, I'm coming to the word overcome. Now, hold that. These that had really overcome sincerely making the same offering that the rest of them made, but in sincerity overcome the things of the world. When the propitiation correctly was made for them, they were in paradise until that, play, that time. When that time was made, they had overcome and was resting, sleeping. See, many bodies of those that slept in the dirt. See, slept. Amen. Now, if we had time, we could go on back to Daniel. When Daniel, that elected one, that had overcome. And he said, close up the book, Daniel. For thou shalt rest in thy lot. But when the prince shall come, which will stand for the people, thou shalt stand in the heart. Here it is. Daniel, this prophet of God, saw the end time coming. And he said, Daniel, you stand in your lot in that day. And here he was, come forth, not all of Israel, but the bride type of Israel. Now the rest of Israel don't come forth until the general resurrection. And now at the coming of the Lord Jesus, those who are really loving his coming, that's living for it. When he appears in the sky, Amen. the church that's dead in Christ shall rise in those who he changed in a moment. The rest of them will know nothing about it. Amen. Remember, appear to those in the city. Amen. See? Yeah. The, the, the rapture will be like that. Amen. We'll see each other. And we'll see them. The rest of the world won't see them. Amen. And it'll be caught away Amen. as a secret going, Amen. waiting for that time, then returning back to the earth for that glorious millennium. Amen. Then the thousand years, the rest of the dead live not for a thousand years, and then come forth the general resurrection where all Israel and also, look at there, the twelve apostles, the twelve patriarchs, all represented, and we ain't never got to that yet. Maybe the Lord willing we'll get to it. In the Testament, how that those walls of jasper and twelve stones, twelve gates, twelve foundations, all that's represented here they are on twelve thrones. Amen. The angel messengers of those days to pass judgment Amen. upon those who rejected their message. Hey, man. Oh. There comes forth that great hour. Yeah, what a day, what a time that we're living. How that we should check up, church. Amen. How we talk about these things coming. That's going to come now today. Let's drop back here and see 
check ourselves and see if we're right in the faith. 